It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where London will play host to a different kind of football. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Buffalo Bills. And it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the great cities of the world, London, England. Coming up, another installment of the NFL International Series, and it should be a great one, as it'll be the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And we are underway here in London. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. And they'll be let out by their left-handed quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps. Guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he will find Ridley on the left side. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. Here's a quick throw caught out wide call it a gain of a yard and it'll be second down and he's already got two catches on the opening drive <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful and sometimes you game plan for that offensively you want to make sure that guy touches the ball and sometimes it just happens naturally and then you change your game plan when he has the hot hand you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on they'll run for the first time with Travis Etienne and this time he's able to take it down to the 42 A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They'll run with Etienne. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. That'll go as a pickup of eight. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. First and 10, Taylor now. And a short game down to about the 33. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, holding them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play.
Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. They'll set up to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. And we'll see this offense try to spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. And the Jaguars grab a 3-0 lead. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. Scobie now to kick it away after the made field goal. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. A play fake. Now Kelly. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll be out right at the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says, our guy is better than your guy's. Because you know, Paul, his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. 15 yards that time, and a Buffalo first. So, Charles, yeah, take nothing away from this young man under center, because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, in the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well. See if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. Now Kelly. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. I'll give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. From the 31, here's second and six. To throw is Kelly. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. How about that? The defense's first sack. It doesn't come from one of the usual suspects up front. It comes from the secondary. Yeah, I think they caught the quarterback off guard a little bit because he wasn't able to account for the possibility of that blitz and change the blocking assignments. He comes through, 
and puts him on the ground. Seventh play in this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Kelly to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler Jr. They'll make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. Well, they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Up the gut, Fournette. And some room, and now the rookie's free. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. Hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. To the right side, this is Taylor. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. What an advantage having an elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. Second and nine. He'll look to throw. And he hits his target, the tight end Lewis. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 21. It's a 10-yard pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receive. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sank back of the 29. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Partner, the Mike linebacker, the middle linebacker, has so many different responsibilities. How excited do you think he was to get home with that blitz? Yeah, he wants a sack. He got it. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. In motion right is Ridley. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep, and it's still a give to Taylor. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. It always helps when you get great run support from your safeties, and when you get one who can actually read the play and get upfield and shut it down before it gets going, it's exactly what you're looking for. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. Oh, partner, you know what I'm going to say before I even say it. Yeah, you just cannot take a sack in that spot. You're exactly right. You can't take a sack in that spot. Potentially now a three-point swing right there. And this one is no good. He missed it. And that will keep this a three-point game. 
And any time you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. So the missed 56-yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to take this across midfield into Jacksonville territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. But we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested, and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Kelly. And Thomas has it. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. There are a lot of tough routes to try and cover. When you see a runner come out of the backfield and run this angle route, looks like they're going to the flat and then they put their foot in the ground and cut back sharply inside, not easily covered, and then when they catch it, good momentum built up by them as well. And able to pick up the first. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here's Kelly to throw. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Play action, it's Kelly. Touchdown, Bills! An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills are able to answer the early three points and take a first-quarter lead. Extra point forthcoming. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Jaguars' offense now heads back onto the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus-yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? Closer. Yeah, closer. Yeah, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. A run there on first down gets three up to the 28. 
Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Lewis has it, the tight end. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. The Jags with the football to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. They'll set up a throw. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and three. Looking to throw. It's caught on the right side of Smith. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Now oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw again. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that'll bring up fourth down. Doug Peterson going to roll the dice here. They will go for it on fourth down. They turn to Taylor on fourth. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Good spot on the field to go for it. Kind of no man's land, as they call it, and it worked out. Yeah, they call it no man's land because your punter is telling you it's too short. I'm just going to punt it into the end zone. Your field goal kicker might give you a little raised eyebrow. Might be too far for the field goal, so it gives you a great chance to go for it. Personally, if you have those tendencies to be aggressive as a head coach, you kind of like this spot because it gives you the decision to go ahead and go for it when you want to anyway. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now a second and ten. They'll drop to throw. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he gets it down to the 32. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. here and I believe one of the Jaguar linemen might have moved maybe anticipating a blitz and they jumped yeah and if we saw it you know that they saw it the bad guys might have been coming on that play had to pick them up and they jumped after the false start sets up a third and nine out of the gun they'll look to throw and this is caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Calvin Ridley, 37 yards. And the Jaguars have regained the lead. 
And Charles, correct me if I'm wrong, I think they just went four verts there against cover two, didn't they? They did, and it's really an excellent route versus cover two because the longer it develops, the more stress is put on the safeties because they're the ones back, each with half the field responsibilities. The corners don't retreat very far in cover two. They're closer to the line of scrimmage, so now you've got four receivers putting pressure on two guys covering. Usually you'll find someone open, and that's exactly what they did there. Made the catch and carried it all the way into the end zone. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Back onto the field now comes the Bills' offense. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you've just watched your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. A gain of three, second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now Kelly. He's got it complete to Diggs right side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 14 yards that time for number 14. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Now a first down throw, Kelly. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring him second down. Up the middle they go. Simpson. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. They run the counter. Simpson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. They tried to run the counter, just that the defense wasn't fooled. And when they're not fooled, you see the end result because what you're doing there, you mentioned the counter. You're using your offensive linemen sometimes to pull or move to influence the defensive front to go in that direction and create the space back in the other side and block it appropriately. But you're exactly right. Didn't move. And this is caught. Touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills have moved out in front in the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game, and I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. The try here for the extra point. 
And that makes it 14-10. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Draw play, ETM. And different running back, same result as they stop him behind the line. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. Think it might be time to move to a different section of the playbook there because back-to-back -back runs, both for loss. Now they have third and long coming up. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. He'll drop to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Tredavious White with a pick. Parker, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense. And that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment. No one in the wrong spot. Everyone filling their gaps. From the 22, here's second and eight. They run again with Jackson. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. Now Kelly. Complete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Kirk now, the return man. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. 
And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Now a second and six. He'll look to throw. Open man, this is Lewis. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. I don't care what level of football you play, this one was a universal, wasn't it? When we were kids and we played touch football, Remember, we get in these positions and you just say, everybody go along and hope someone would come free. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. They'll look to throw here. This is Smith to the ground. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Great gains back-to-back. -back. Last time over 30 yards, better than 20 here. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now back to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just didn't see where the defense was. Whatever the case, not the throw you're looking for on first and goal. Not at all because, look, let's face it, that close to the goal line, if you throw an interception, is going to hurt on any down. But really the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down. The first three, if you don't have it wide open, just get rid of it. Make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down. First and goal and you throw the pick, not good at all. The quick throw taken in by Diggs. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Simpson, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The Bills on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. Now Kelly. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. We know that the rookie's going to go to a top target like that often. That time, though, maybe a little telegraph. And that's not unusual because you do tend to lock in on one of your better players and when under duress, when in doubt, you're going to throw the ball in his direction because oftentimes you could be wrong, but that receiver will make you right. But it won't happen every time. Good defenders know this, and they get attracted to the football. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Throw right side, caught by Ridley. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. Up the middle, here's Taylor. 
And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll look to throw. And this one complete to Smith. Now they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're just going to pick up a holding call. He'll look to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. Offensive linemen are famous for doing their job no matter who's carrying the ball. But when they have the confidence that the person carrying it can break off big-time runs, that makes them block just a little bit harder. They're going to look to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Back to throw here. Got his tight end, that's complete. It's Lewis. This will wind up a loss on the play, and this brings up a third and goal. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll set up to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Now a field goal try coming up here for the Jags. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And his kick is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. Well, still some climbing left to do to get back to even, but forcing a turnover and getting the field goal there, that's a small step toward erasing the early deficit. Absolutely. That interception field goal, that's the beginning of what they hope will be several steps towards erasing that deficit and building a lead of their own by the time this game is over. Scoby now, kick it away after the made field goal. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Bills offense now for one final time in this first half. And with a one-point lead, you'd have to think they'll be looking just to get this to halftime. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. Oh, 
So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter. And Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead. And they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Now here's a throw. It's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone. And Rush coming and he's taken down. Multiple players getting home there, and it's a loss of two on the sack. That would be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Got momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. On the return is Kirk. It's a 49-yard punt, but subtract nine there for the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Second and 10. They'll set up a throw. Right side, it's Lewis. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Here 
here comes the blitz as they look to throw. He's got Smith here. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First and ten, it's ETN. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Second down and in inches. Quick hitter here, it's complete. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Back to throw. And he will find Ridley, that's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now, well, hang on here a second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort from that last play. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Just need a yard here, second and one. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Bills are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. And that could turn out to be a giant play, Charles. You've got an offense driving to take the lead, but they're turned away on the INT. And I think that we might look back on this in the fourth quarter and say, that was the play of the game. The Bills ready to take over. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides, and there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. A play fake, now Kelly. Man open downfield is Diggs, he's got it. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Out of the gun, it's Kelly. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. And he'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this one. He's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Here's second and three. Now 
They'll keep it on the ground. Simpson dances. And he is into the end zone for the Buffalo touchdown. A 13-yard touchdown run. And they are able to add on to their advantage. In as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper technique, just wasn't able to get it done. Now the try here for the point after. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So that drive spanned five plays, and it's capped off by a 13-yard touchdown run. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Jacksonville set to go again offensively. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. That was a particularly nice play because not only was it his job to force the play inside, he was actually able to fold inside himself and make the tackle ultimately. Very nicely done. Now second and nine. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he'll be tackled at the 45 following a gain of just two. And that's why you see a lot of teams that like to play 4-3 defense, especially against teams that run the ball really well, because you count on your defensive front, the tackles and the ends, to eat up the blocking in the offensive line and keep that guy in the middle clean so he can roam through the football and make a tackle. In this case, he introduced himself and said, hello, my name is Mike. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game? In this case, yeah, not the case. Not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. And when you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. 
A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. Now Kelly. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he is going to have a Bills first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. On first down, Simpson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 65 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school, and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come back here and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Kelly. And that is incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. And the Bills send the punter out. They'll boot it away from about his 35. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. After another impressive run, the question has to be asked, how do you slow these guys down running the football? I think they're going to try and get more people to the point of attack, try and get more people to the line of scrimmage, almost use a variety of run blitzes in order to try and get it done. A very quick pass to Ridley. Seven catches for him now, and this last one, a first down. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he had to reach for that one, but can't grab it. It's behind him, and it's incomplete. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. Here's second and ten. They'll drop to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. to throw again. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. They 
sure went against conventional wisdom, calling a pass on third and inches. Had to be thinking to themselves, the defense is going to overcommit against the run. Should be an easy pitch and catch. Didn't turn out that way. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the, at the 15 yard line. Not too bad. The Bills offense back out onto the field. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Shedding the tackle, and it gives him some room. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Solid way to start the drive, 13 yards, picking up the first. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first and 10, Kelly. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the 33, here's a second and four. From the gun, Kelly. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in London. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Up the middle they go. It's Simpson, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Here's a second and eight. Play action, it's Kelly. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Dante Fowler able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. A CD, a little bit of feast or famine for him. He's had some success throwing the football, but also now he's been sacked four times. Yeah, you just mentioned the four sacks, but you're right. He has managed to hang in there and make plays at times. His offensive line, they've got to figure it out and pick things up and give him more opportunities. And he has to help them by getting rid of the ball a little bit quicker as well. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. The Bills send the punter out as he's on for the fifth time here today. at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over. first down. Smith catches left side. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. 
I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. Second and one. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. From the gun, it's Taylor. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Again, it's Taylor. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. No, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Second and nine now. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Bulls are going to get it back here just past the 35. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Foyasane Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line. Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they outleveraged them and won the battle. On oh, second down, it's Simpson, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. The Bills on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This will be third and six. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. Well, the Bills send the punter out as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Here comes the Jaguars' offense as they get set to go again. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So... Frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. ETN up the middle. 
And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Not the start to the drive they were hoping for. That run doesn't get him much at all. No, not at all. That leaves him with third and long, which means you've got to dial up something pretty good. Think your best player with a play that he likes to run best. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's a much needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. Back to throw now on first down. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. On second down, it's Taylor. And he stopped immediately there. Calling no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There was absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. Here's where this crowd can really help make things difficult. It's third and three. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. A big play that time for Jacksonville. 57 yards. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. A give for Taylor running right side. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. They follow up that gigantic game with the tiniest of pickups, one yard. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones... They have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. They run once more with Taylor. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Jags go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They've still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They'll try and throw for it. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two, they don't get it. And the failure to convert and tie the game, now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. So the lead shaved to two now as the kickoff is away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they've seen their lead nearly extinguished after that last score, but bottom line, they are still on top with the football, and a touchdown on this drive would really put them in position A. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. 
Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if he picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right. If it's college football, you want to second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down and actually aids the defense in that situation. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. They'll run on first down. Simpson. That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. 113 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. Simpson, and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Now, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Here's Kelly to throw. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Here we go. Third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop them here. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to at least make it a five-point cushion. And this one looks good. And it is good. Right down the pipe. And that will push the lead up to five. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. Here's the Bills kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. So now the Jags, down by five, a minute 51 on the clock. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Back to throw. To the sideline and look at that catch. Dragging the toes. And it's going to be a first down. Well done. That's 
what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bother him, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. They'll look to throw. Firing quickly here and that's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Here's second and a yard. He's back to throw. They'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. They got completion there. That's clearly an example. One side happy, the other side not very happy. Defense, very <laughs> Hey, take one or two yards. We're good with that. Offense, you've got to expect to get more on a passing play. Here's first down. Back to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly both. what you do. It's both <laughs> because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. And if you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. Look in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. This is first and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. Caught right side. It's Lewis. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. It didn't check off every box, but the most... And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Here comes second down. to throw again to the end zone but it's incomplete they took their shot for the end zone almost cost him and he made the right play there knocking it away 
But boy, it looked like he had a chance to come down with the football. And if he does that, this thing is over. Instead, he leaves him out there with another chance. A big play here, third and two. finish they have a chance to end it right here the decision made for them they've got to go it's fourth down as expected they're going for it to keep the drive alive this ball intercepted and the bills have just about sewn up this football game i think you and i were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception i mean who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times it's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ballgame, I would have said never. Not in a million years, but here we go. team has plays in their book to try to buy some room when a safety's on the table. But a big variable is how does each team deal with the pressure of executing in those situations? In this case, they didn't, and they gave up two points. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. This is taken at the 18. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it, because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play, and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded, because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say cheerio from London.